so you can run this uh, program using my visualized editor double hyphen vis so your python visualized editor you are normally defaultly install this uh, file the which is we are installed in the the configuration file first we are installing the ns uh, uh, installation procedure no the first step and that will be implemented default python visualized python so just press enter here so here uh, this is where with visualized python editor so so at the scanning the topology eight nodes we are uh, defining here and one is the server node and this three are your clients so while i will run this program simulate f3 so the transformation will be done okay so here uh, you have uh, sending the uh, the topology outputs so so just you can take the, the screenshot so I'll, I'll 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 again execute this program so you can take the snapshot here all itself for the program so you can take this snapshot of the program and which is we can save it in any folder so here i can run this program again so that you can clearly view this output So we are minimizing the speed here. Speed we can minimize to some. So it will be slowly run. We can take this snapshot for running this output. So, uh, so we can take this snapshot for this program. So, client and server can be communicated using this IP address and port number. So, this is the Visual Python editor, and I will go to my desktop folder, and we can see this. You can uh, take this uh, uh, screenshot and you can paste it in your uh, PhD uh, related things or your research or something else. You can save this. Okay, so this way we can uh, save this folder and. Uh, so this is the third program we have so upon completion of this third program you can type this ls folder and ls we have my third program to be executed uh, uh, with the uh, uh, with the things of uh, with the output variable of waf okay suppose i want to run my uh, uh, program like a simple ymax uh, wi-fi or lt related programs which is available in the ns 3.26 source folder so we will go to this you can type this ls you have the source folder so in the source folder you have uh, you are uh, a simple uh, simulation related wi-fi ymax on uh, and lte and other related things are is available so cd i'll go to the folder cd source okay i'll go to the folder cd space source press enter and ls in this thing you have the network related things you have your wi-fi thing you have your ymax script are there wi-fi script are there and your uh, point to point script are there open open flow is that more and more advanced technology day to day is open flow and you have the 
AODB protocol, you have the DSDB protocol, DSR protocol, all these protocols to be implemented here. So, the LTE is there. So, we want to simulate some LTE, small LTE programs here. So, we will go to the folder. LS, we have the SLTE. So, we will go to this LTE folder using the command of CD LTE. Okay. And LS. So, in this LS folder, uh, under the LTE, you have some examples here. So, I will go to the folder CD space examples. So, examples you have this LTE simulation operation simulated tools are there. So, LTE how the uh, LTE threshold and uh, threshold values uh, related things and you have the interference and reusability and antenna uh, simulation and the power control handover mechanism are there. So, simply we can run this uh, LTE simulation using this uh, program name is called uh, LANA simple EPC.cc. So, just we will uh, see this program and 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 uh, so gedit uh, lena simple epc dot cc so this is the program for the lte so we are defining the lte head of ls lte helper dot h and uh, we are defining the network module ip module internet module mobility module and other application module we are defining using the na name stand standard okay so in the we are defining the unsigned integer value for the number of node we are setting to and simulation time for 1.1 millisecond with the distance of 60 uh, uh, meter and interval packet uh, packet interval rate is 100 and we are defining the number of nodes we are transferring from the e node base this is the main module node base for the lte with the uh, uh, annotated equipment uh, 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 equipment pairs and the total duration for simulation and distance and the time packet interval and for simulating your LTE operation. So, main thing is it supports the data rate and the uh, integer value for the minimum uh, traveling and the delay and we are setting the IP and the subnet mask for this. Uh, each interface localhost having the point to point device and we are defining the node container. So, we are uh, uh, e node base value uh, node container where uh, we are we are sending the uh, what we are sending the um, uh, the base station node to the the, the tower uh, uh, b b node base to the the tower and the tower to the the subscriber value okay so we can save this folder and we can simply run this program and so control l so we copy this folder so we'll So copy the uh, folder. What the example for the folder is Lena folder. So Lena simple program is epc dot cc. Copy the Lena simple epc dot cc in the home folder in the side point. So my program name is here. You can change it as my LTE program dot cc lte program dot cc so i copy this my lena simple dot program cc to the my lte program dot cc so press enter and we can run this program using this cv dot that and dot dot wf run your program in the scratch folder my lte program that cc you can eliminate this cc and you can run this program or build your program build the scratch program so here my scratch my LTE program here so we are simulated successfully so we are successfully they simulated this tool and we can run this program using visualized editor 
my waf uh, run scratch my LTE program which was deleted. So we have this e node base and setup of this e node base with the tower server and we have communicated uh, through this path and we can run this program simulate so it transfer the data bits so it, it transfer the data bits how many bits it can transfer from 175.4 kilobits it can be transferred between your uh, e node base to the server and server to the e node base that is the tower uh, simulation we have that is we are sending the data from input to the output so we can take this snapshot here we can take this snapshot and we can save it in the folder so we can save this folder using some LT or something else LT you can save this so the amount of bits transformation mobility transformation between these nodes okay in advanced you can you can set the nodes how, how much selected node and node size and the transmission time factor okay you can see the transmission factor so this is the way we can do the LTE programs okay so th that's all about the uh, small tutorials for NS3 thank you very much